Well, I'm only hiring 120, all right? Well, why don't you drive over with me and we'll go see it? I can't. I've got to be about five. Oh, well, uh, I'm going to make an offer. I guess I'd better get going, huh? I, I thought you and Abby had a meeting with Gregory Sumner this afternoon. Oh, gee, I forgot all about it. But you remembered your meeting with Val. Yeah, she's getting the results of Lily May's psychiatric evaluation this afternoon. What's going on with you and Valley? <laughs> Nothing's going on. You gonna get together again? No. Are you gonna get married? No. And what do you want from her? I don't want anything from her. You know, when you walked out on Val, we all thought she would die. But somehow, I didn't know, God knows how, but somehow she managed to pick herself up and go on. She even grew stronger. Yeah, we both did. She's finally gotten over you, you know. Well, maybe for the first time we can be friends without everything else. No, 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 no. No, Valine cannot be just friends with you, Gary. Well, I just said she got over it. I know. Well, you have to let her get over it. Don't you see? You are Val's obsession. She can no more be just friends with you than, than you could have a glass of wine with dinner or a little drink now and then. If you were to start up with her again, it would be the cruelest thing you could ever do. Unless you plan on going back with her again. I just thought I'd have a chance to make amends. If you really cared about her, you'd leave her alone. <laughs>